What's up guys, this is Tony with Alternative Living Spaces. Uh, right behind me is one of our 20 foot offices that we're getting ready to deliver. Uh, this unit has a 12 foot sliding glass door on the exterior. Uh, they chose to go with a black exterior finish on the sliding door. Uh, what's cool about this is a four panel door. Uh, the two center panels open to the outside, giving you a nice big six foot opening, allowing a lot of fresh air into the office space. Uh, this container is a high cube container. So it's actually a foot taller than standard containers. It's nine foot six inches tall. Um, and let's go ahead inside and take a look. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness. All right, so the first thing you'll notice when you enter into the space is that it just feels very open. Uh, we go with white interior paint and white baseboards. In a small space, going with lighter colors really does help to open up the area. Uh, on this unit, we have a gray laminate flooring. Uh, they went with an upgrade and it added a five by five picture window. Uh, this also just made a big difference in making the space a little bit more open, feeling bigger. Uh, this unit is set up with electrical all the way throughout. So on every wall, uh, just about every six feet, you're gonna see an electrical outlet. That way you have plenty of room to plug in your laptop, your TV, your mini fridge, whatever you might need in your space. Uh, this unit has LED lighting up top um, and it also has a mini split HVAC unit uh, that does both heating and cooling. It's a 9,000 BTU mini split, so plenty of power and plenty of air for this small space. Now this client actually also purchased a shed as well. Uh, so for them we did a 10 foot by eight foot container shed. It's gonna be placed next to this office so they'll be complimenting each other. Uh, and that's just gonna be a workspace for him. Uh, we made it a little bit stylish on the inside so let's take a look at that as well. For this unit he wanted it to be an insulated space so we actually framed out the interior of the shed with two by fours. Uh, we went with just simple bat foam insulation on this uh, particular unit. Uh, the, we then did a 3 8 inch OSB with quarter inch finished ply on top and then finished it out with the black interior trim. He also wanted a way to be able to plug in tools. So we had this nice, uh, basically like an adapter that we installed where he can plug his extension cord to the exterior and it'll actually run into a plug on the interior. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of